Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google has launched Gemini Code Assist Firebase Studio, which was previously known as Project IDX, and recently Gemini CLI. All of these were great, but there's another thing they launched that wasn't as widely noticed. Once I tried it, I was blown away by how good it is. This is called Gemini Cloud AI Editor. It's actually kind of like Project IDX or Firebase Studio, but even better. So, basically, it's a cloud-based AI editor that's essentially VS Code on the web with AI features. It's very similar to Firebase Studio, GitHub Code Spaces, or several other platforms. You can use it for 50 hours per week at no cost, which is honestly the best I've seen compared to things like Code Spaces which gives you about 100 hours a month and only very limited storage. Plus, it comes built in with Gemini Code Assist, though it still shares the same usage limits. So, if you use Gemini Code Assist locally as well, it will still count towards your limit. You can also configure it in any way that you want, like you can install the VS Code extensions and stuff like Klein or RuCode or Kilo and get it customizes in whatever way that you want to use it as well. So, that is also amazing. And it also has persistent storage in order to keep everything saved and just resume session back and forth as well. That is also amazingly well to use. It also comes with Gemini Code Assist Agent Mode. And if you want to use that, you can. You can also install the Gemini CLI in it which allows you to use that as well. It's funny because Google themselves haven't talked much about this. So, that's enough talk. Let's test it out and see how well it works. But, before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. You can open this, and it will just spin up a sandbox for you. It might take a bit at first, but then it will get started, and this is what it looks like. It's basically just VS Code on the web. You can also see that it has the Gemini Code Assist agent on the right, which is great since it comes pre-configured and you don't need to set it up to use it. You don't get the agent mode by default, but I'll tell you how you can enable that as well. And since this is just VS Code, you can also install Klein, RuCode, Kilo Code, or whatever else you want on it. So, I'll show you that as well. And I'll also show you how you can install Gemini CLI. Another thing is, that the storage here is persistent. This means it will save the files and projects you work on, and you can resume your sessions from the same state you left them in. This basically makes it a good option if you want a machine you can access from anywhere with your projects and environments already set up. Anyway, let's first talk about how you can set up Gemini Code Assist with Agent Mode. You can just hit Command-Shift-P and it will open up the command palette. Then, open the user settings here, search for the Gemini channel, and you'll see an option called Gemini Code Assist Channel. Just change the channel to Insiders, and that should enable agent mode for you as well. Apart from this, you may also want to install something like Klein, RuCode, or Kilo Code. I'll be installing Kilo Code here. So, let's just search for that. And then you'll see it here. Just get it installed. Once that's done, you can open it up 
create an account, and you'll get $20 in free credits, which you can use with any models. Or you can just go ahead without it and use your own API keys if you wish. So, there's that, and it will give you even better capabilities. Another thing you can set up with this is Gemini CLI or Claude Code as well. Since we're focusing on the Gemini stuff, let me show you how you can set up Gemini CLI. You can just open up the terminal here and then run the installation command. It comes built in with Node, so you don't have to install that. Just install Gemini CLI and it should get it done. Then, just authenticate yourself and you can use that as well. That's mainly how you can get that set up. Also, if you make an app with it, you can preview it by hitting this option here. This will open up a preview of whatever port your app is running on, which is also amazing. You also have the option to upload or download anything to the sandbox, and there are multiple modes and options to restart the sandbox if there's any error. As I've said, it gives you about 50 hours per week of usage, which is pretty good. You generally use about 7 or 8 hours a day at most, and it should work well for a week. So, this is a great option, and it comes built in with all the AI features you want. Since it comes with Gemini Code Assist, you also get Auto Complete, Inline Assist, and all the features you'd need at all times. That's also amazing and you can obviously set up Klein and everything else with it, which will allow you to configure it however you want. It's quite good, and you also get deployment options if you wish to use those as well. That's mainly how it works and how you can use it. I think this is quite useful and can be helpful for a lot of people. You should definitely give this a try and use it for yourself, because it's really interesting and works amazingly well. I really like it, and it's very useful. The persistent storage and persistent extensions are great because you can set it up once, and whenever you come back, you'll see that the extensions and everything are set up at all times. You can just get started right away. I've really been loving it, and I thought this isn't talked about enough but it's a really useful tool that comes with all the required AI features. You can turn it into a full-fledged AI editor for free without paying $200, like what Cursor has started to charge these days. You can go ahead and use it and do some cool stuff with it for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.